This image, this image, and this image were all AI generated. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set this up completely for free, including things you can do if your PC is very slow. If you're a complete beginner, watch this entire video and I'll give you everything you need to know to make amazing images. However, if you have seen my previous video tutorial and already gotten yourself set up with anything V3, then I have good news, because all you need to do is to simply download these new improved models. And that's it. And you're done. Go to this timestamp to skip over the basic setup. So first, let's begin with the requirements. We'll be downloading a program called Stable Diffusion that can create images from text. Also images to images, but I won't be covering that. The amount of VRAM your graphics card has will limit how high of a resolution you can render. However, if you have 4 or less gigabytes, I have a workaround, which I'll show towards the end of the video. If you have a very slow graphics card, like really slow, I would not recommend doing this, because even if in theory yes, you would be able to make images, you'd need to wait minutes to even load a single image. And in this case, I would recommend you check out yodayod.com, which I've recently found, which has essentially all of the models I'll be mentioning in this video, and you can generate high quality AI images, all without needing a good PC yourself. Another small note, this program takes up 20 gigabytes of space. It's not tiny, but not really the worst either. So now that you know that, let's get into the setup. First off, we'll need to download two dependencies that this AI generator named Stable Diffusion runs on, Python and Git. All of the links are in the description, so first off, go on to python.org. So when you're on this page, go to the bottom, and right here you want to download Windows Installer 64 bits. Once it's open, you'll see this, and it'll say install now. But before you click that, go to the bottom here and check add Python 3.10.2 path. This is very important, without this, it, it just won't work, so make sure that this is checked. Now you can click install now, and that's it. Once this has downloaded, you can close this out and go onto the next website, also in the description. Git dash SCM. And then go onto here and click the 64-bit git for Windows setup. Download this and open it up. Once this has opened up, just click next. And here we want to make sure that everything is selected. This top one, it doesn't really matter, you don't need this, but up to you. Make sure that all of these are selected, very important. And then go next, I, I mean I already have this, and then when this comes up, up you want to make sure that it says use notepad as git's default editor. Most likely it'll be something else, but you want to make sure it's notepad, not notepad++, plus plus, not anything else, use notepad, and then next, next, na 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 next. Just click on everything, it should all be correct by default. Next up, you want to make a folder wherever you want your AI to be. It shouldn't matter where it is, but make a dedicated folder. I'm gonna make mine on the desktop, and I'm gonna call it Stable Diffusion. Now go into the folder, open it up, and right here at the top, you wanna hover over the navigation panel, click, it's gonna select like this in blue, and then you write CMD, enter. A terminal will now open, and as long as your git installation was correct, you can now write in git clone, and copy-paste this link that I have in the description in, this github link, and click enter. Now it's gonna install Stable Diffusion onto your PC automatically, so just let it load, but in the meantime, we'll be checking out the amazing models for this AI generator. Now here you actually have a bit of a choice. Go into the description and go onto civitai.com. Here you will see loads of images. All of these are models, or how this page likes to call them, checkpoints. Make note though, if it says LoRa, like it does here, then these are a different thing entirely, so ignore them for now. So what is a model? Basically a large collection of images of some type that make images in a specific style. There's more to it than that, but that's all you really need to know. I'll be picking an anime one I personally use, but as you can see, there are also real life models, and models of all types. Whatever model you pick, the next process is the exact same. But in order to help you out, I've actually went and downloaded 12 of the top anime models from this website and gave them all this same prompts and description. And then used the same seed, so they generate in a similar way so you can see the difference between them all. You can see the names of the models, so if there's any of these you specifically like, then remember that name. I'm gonna pick Mena Mix, which in my opinion is very nice and on top of that is easy to work with and isn't overly stylistic, but don't be worried to try a different model yourself. So whichever model you picked, just click onto it, and then click download. This will download as either CKPT or a safe tensors file format. Next up is the VA file, basically the color correction. Now technically you could use any VA file here, in fact if you check the description of most of these models, They'll give a suggestion, but I will recommend one myself, which almost no matter what model you're using, will look really good. 
It's also the most used one, so it's a safe bet. Also the one I used to create this image from before, so just go with it, why, why not? Go on to the Hugging Face website, which is in the description, and click download. This will download a cl-f8.animate2 file, a very catchy name, I know. So now all you need to do is wait up and let these two things load, and then come back. Now that you have both of the files, the safe tensors file and the VA file, you can open up your folder, go into Stable Diffusion Web UI, go into Models, then go into Stable Diffusion, and in this one, you want to drag your first one, your safe tensors one, the actual model. Second off, you can go back to Models, click VA, and here you want to put in your VA file. And now you're almost done. All you do now is you go back to Stable Diffusion Web UI, this folder right here, and right at the bottom you'll see webuser.bats. Click on this, right click on it, click edit, and this will open up a notepad. And here you want to add one line. After set command args, you want to add git pull. What this does is that every single time you open this up, which you'll need to do every time you're using this AI, it will automatically update itself so that you're always on the most up-to-date version. This makes sure that you have less problems with the program in the future and whatever not, so very good, do it. Second of all, if you have a weak graphics card or are using an AMD graphics card, you'll need to do an extra step here. With a weak graphics card, 4GB of VRAM or less, or if you later on notice that you're still having problems, go to this line right here, set command line arcs, click space, and then do dash, dash, double dash, med VRAM. Or alternatively, low VRAM. This will use up less VRAM and allow you to make higher quality images at the cost of time. It'll take a little bit longer to generate images than normal, but it's not the absolute worst, especially if it's your only choice. If you're using an AMD system, you wanna write double dash, precision, full, space, pr double dash, <laughs> no, dash, half, space, double dash, skip, torch, dash, CUDA, De dash, test. <laughs> this is all in the description, so you can just copy this in. This is required if you're using an AMD system, because normally this is only made for NVIDIA, but this completely works for AMD as well, you just need to add this in. And guess what? If you have a slow AMD system, also make sure to add dash dash med VRAM, or low VRAM. Now save this and go out of it, and go back to this folder. Now you wanna double click web UI, user bats. This will open up a command prompt, and it will download everything to make sure everything is working as it should. This can take quite a while, like really long sometimes. For some people, it just takes 10 minutes. For some people, 30 to 40 minutes. But after this, you're completely done, which is very nice. So let this load in the background, go get a coffee or something, and come back. Now that it's done, it might right away give you an IP just like this. In that case, write this IP into your browser and bam, you're done. Sometimes you might need to restart the terminal, then just turn it off again and then go into your browser and write in the IP. And here it is, here's the GUI. One last thing at the top, you wanna click this and make sure that it has this selected. Second of all, you wanna go to settings, then go to stable diffusion, and then you wanna go to STVA, click on this, and you wanna click whatever VA file you downloaded, in my case, KL F8 Anime 2, and then you wanna go right to the bottom, you see clip skip, you wanna change this from one to two. I've already changed some of the settings, that's why it's already done, but it should be from one, and you drag this to two. After that, you click apply settings, and now you're done. You can go back to text to image and make whatever you want. I won't go super deep in this video on how to use it, but I have made a completely separate video on where I go in depth. But it's also not super complex to do this, so first of all, you write in tags here for things you want included, like short hair, pink hair, one girl, bunny outfits. Either that, or you could write a sentence instead. So in this case, that would be girl with short, pink hair, wearing a bunny outfit. Whatever suits you best. And now you can just click generate and it'll create a very nice looking image. And there we go, that's pretty nice. But of course we could make this a lot better by checking out these settings on the left here. So let's have a quick look at what all of these settings mean. Sampling method is what method is used to make these images. Some are better than others and I would recommend anything with DPM++ at the beginning of it, so these three. Sampling steps is how detailed you want the image to be. 20 or 30 is pretty good, but you can go higher, but it'll take a lot longer. The higher you put this, the longer it'll take. Width and height is the resolution. I often like putting width on 512 and increasing height to around 800 to 900, but 768 is good as well. CFG scale is how much the AI will conform to your prompt. The higher you put it, the less free it will be, but it will create something more similar to your prompt. But in my opinion, you can keep this around 7, Maybe 8, 9 is good, but 6 could also be good, so just 
do a bit of trial and error and you'll find something that you like. If you have a pretty good graphics card, you want to go to this high-res fix and click on it and turn it on. And then you want to make sure that if it's set to upscale 2, you want to drag this to 1. And with this, you have all of the optimal settings. Now generate an image and you get this. This looks very nice, but if you zoom in, you might notice that it's kind of blurry. Like, what's up with that? Why is it blurry? Well, no problem. We can actually fix this because on the bottom here, it says send to extras. Click on this and what this does, it sends it to a place to upscale. What? Upscale? So you click here on the upscale one thing and you run a click either Esrogan 4X or Esrogan 4X anime. And I like the anime one because we're doing anime ones. Then you click generate. And look at that. That's way cleaner. It's not very blurry anymore. And yes, it's not perfect, but this is where you'll need to try it out a little bit. You'll need to get used to how the bot works. And I've actually made a completely different video on how you can do this much better. If you have any additional issues, check the comments for what others have said, and alternatively, you can DM me on Discord and I'll do my best to help. But if you truly want to make the best possible images you can, then watch this video right here to see how you can make better prompts and make better custom characters.